Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. This is the first in a three-part kettlebell workout series and it's for beginners. So grab your kettlebell, let's go. So first up, make sure that you're warmed up for this workout. You can warm up those fingers by clicking the subscribe button now and you can also click the link in the top right-hand corner for a short warm-up routine. First up, we've got deadlift. So stand with your feet about hip width apart, keep soft knees, hinge at the hips and pick up the kettlebell with both hands. So let's go, 35 seconds of work. Now you want to make sure that you're hinging at the hips and then pick up the kettlebell and extend the hips forward whilst keeping a neutral spine and your core engaged. Great job, keep going, you've got 10 seconds left. Great work, take a rest. We've got 25 seconds of rest here. Place that kettlebell down. Next up, we've got goblet squats. So we hold the kettlebell by the handle. and We've got it just in front of the chest. Our feet are going to be a little bit wider, about shoulder width apart with the toes turned out slightly. We then sit down like we're sitting back into a chair and drive up through the heels to stand back up. Let's go, 35 seconds. Keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. Great job, take a rest, set that kettlebell down. Next up, we've got overhead press. So we hold the kettlebell just in front of the chest and then we're going to extend the arms fully above the head. Keep soft knees and an engaged core, so tense your abs. The really important thing here is that we've got a good grip. So position your hands slightly underneath the bell of the kettlebell and make sure you've got a good grip. Awesome job, keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. Great work, take a rest and set that kettlebell down. Next up, we've got a classic kettlebell exercise here. This is the kettlebell swing. So we're going to have the feet about shoulder width apart and we're going to keep straight legs, but just a soft bend in the knees. Now we bring that kettlebell up just below the crotch. We hinge at the hips and then we extend the hips forward to drive that kettlebell up. So it's really important here that we're generating force to drive that kettlebell up by extending the hips. We're using our posterior chain to generate the power to get that kettlebell up. That means that we're not swinging our arms and using our shoulders to try and do a front raise to pull that kettlebell up. Really focus on the extension of the hips. Keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. Awesome work, let's take a rest now. Next up, we're going to work the back with alternate bent over rows. We've got a reasonably wide stance about shoulder width apart. We then hinge at the hips and keep neutral spine with soft knees. We're going to row that kettlebell up with a single arm and we're going to alternate the arm that we lift with each time. It's really important here that you keep a neutral spine, try not to hunch over. Great work, keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. Thank you. 
Great work. Take a rest. That is the end of the first round of this workout. Grab a sip of water if you need. You can pause the video if you need a little bit extra rest and just come back in when you feel comfortable. We're going to repeat those exercises now for the second round of this workout. So let's get ready in a few seconds for deadlifts. Let's go, let's smash this second round together. Keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. Okay, set that kettlebell down and take a rest. Next up, we're going back to goblet squats. So let's just remember our form cues here. We're holding the kettlebell just in front of the chest. We're going to sit back like we're sitting down into a chair. Just go as low as feels comfortable for you today. As you come back to the workout, try and improve your mobility by going a little bit lower each time. Awesome job, keep going, you've got 10 more seconds. So let's take a rest, great job. Next up, we've got overhead press coming up. Now, as you'll be a little bit more tired than the last round, just be really careful as you push that kettlebell above your head. Make sure that you've got your palms beneath the kettlebell and that you've got a good grip. Keep going, you've got 10 more seconds left. Awesome work, take a rest. We've got the kettlebell swings coming up next. So just remember here that it is the hip extension which is gonna drive that kettlebell up. We don't want the arms to be pulling the kettlebell up here. We want to be driving it forward with hip extension. We also don't want the kettlebell coming really low below our crotch so that we're going into a squat. Great work, you're smashing this. You've got 10 more seconds. Okay, take a rest. Next up is the last exercise of this workout. Let's smash the end of this workout together. We've got alternate bent over rows. So remember, we've got that wider stance, feet about shoulder width apart. We hinge at the hips, keep a nice neutral spine, tense your abs, and then row the kettlebell up with a single arm and alternate each time. Last exercise, let's go. Keep going, you've got 10 more seconds, you can do this. Boop, 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 boop. 
awesome job. You smashed that. Well done for completing this workout. And thank you so much for joining me. If you like that, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. If that was challenging for you, then keep coming back and doing this workout. You will improve over time. Once you feel comfortable, you can move on to workout two of this three-part kettlebell workout series. Thank you and I'll see you there.